hello guys welcome to another video of this series simplifying flutter packages in this one we are going to be doing youtube player flutter now if it still isn't obvious to you what it does with this package you can run a youtube video directly inside your flutter app and it's mainly used for those purposes where you don't want user to leave your app and go to youtube to watch just one video you can just show it in your app so let's get started First we go to the package YouTube Player Flutter. This works for both iOS and Android. You don't need an API key. and for this package you don't need an API key. Okay, so let's install it. Dependent. Here. Okay, now the first thing we need to do is we need to make sure that this the widget that where our YouTube player will be running needs to be a stateful widget. Okay, and so we will use this one. Let's make the YouTube player controller first. Now we will make a function wide run youtube layer here i will call the controller initialize the controller youtube layer youtube player this has to be controller <coughs> uh, initial video id YouTube player dot. This is where your URL that the video URL that you need to run will be. So we will be taking the variable player final URL and here this dot URL. Okay. We need to visualize flags and YouTube player. Flags. Now, here will be your enable caption. We don't want to enable caption. Then, is live. This property will be important if you are running, if you're streaming it live. It's by default false. Let's see. It's by default is yes, false. But if you are running it live, then you need to make it true. Let's just keep it false for now. Okay. Now there are other you can change according to you. Autoplay true. Now if you don't want to autoplay, then you can make it false. Okay. What is this error? Now, why do we need why we needed it to be stateful widget? We need an image state. Now we need to run, initialize our controller, so we will call our run YouTube player. Next, we need to deactivate this pause controller dot this pause and if it is deactivated then we will call controller dot 
false. Okay. Now we need to go to the UI part. We wrap our scaffold with YouTube player. Builder. Mm, this is going to take. Let's see. Player. Player controller V lever controller. In the next is your builder, which takes context and your player. Return. And in this and scaffold all of it inside here here let's try running it and you can make the ui as fancy as you want to like i did here with my app you can make it beautiful okay so we go to android app build.gradle minimum sdk let's make it 17 okay let's just do clutter clean just in case we still need to do one or more things let's make a youtube player demo page okay we need to provide the url and then we are going to run the video let's take any video mm, pixel 5 okay Good phone. Now we need to show it in our UI. We don't have the player in our UI. So for that, in uh, we can integrate it anywhere. But for now, hmm. Let's just reduce this. Move this. Then. Let's 
so you can see it running fine That's it guys for this section of simplifying flutter packages. If you want us to do any more of such a video, tell us which package we should do next. And make sure to check out our other playlist, Enhance UI Design and our speed code section. Subscribe to the channel and leave a like. Thank you.